Well, hello everyone. Here, talk about right here. I talk about for assemblies right here. And what does it usually mean whenever we uh, talk about assemblies? And assemblies are another way of stating to word that you know, yeah, sit in a gymnasium or maybe in a cafeteria or somewhere like that. And a lot of times, a lot of schools would say too that yeah, well, really, that uh, are you know, are assemblies really supposed to teach you anything really necessarily? And a lot of times, it's like, well, really. A lot of students and teachers would also say too that most assemblies will just be another just another way to get out of class or something like that. But but it sure seems that way that uh, that if there was any sort of assembly uh, that was uh, scheduled uh, during uh, the school day, and let's just say that if we're talking about between uh, you know ten and eleven a.m. or something like that, or maybe between one and two p.m. something like that. So let's just say. That if there's going to be an assembly that's going to be scheduled to where that students will be able to, you know, would uh, need to attend that. And, uh, and I know that a lot of times that, uh, you know, you may have heard that before, too, about assemblies. That, um, that yeah, during the assemblies, that there's a, a band, actually, that's playing that uh, what the, the school's orchestra is uh, practicing for or something like that. So, so I know that most of us can probably remember a lot of those old days about uh, you know, yeah, about that whenever there's going to be a, a school assembly that we're talking about that uh, bleachers of children at about right here along, along with adults too. But uh, but it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we uh, talk about assemblies a lot of times that uh, it's usually um, uh, like a gymnasium. It's usually a gymnasium full of other students a lot of times. And it could also be, yeah, teachers and maybe others, other staff members. And they're going to be about right here on the bleachers and maybe, you know, folding chairs, if there's any folding chairs in the room. But, you know, still. That, uh, but I have right here is ex this example right here of uh, the Cardinals team. And uh, so I know that the, the school uh, that I uh, went to, the elementary school that I went to those years ago, a lot of times that there was an assembly going on. There in a gymnasium that do be like a, a it will be a related to a, a baseball team, a baseball team that's going to start talking about uh, you know yeah about uh, you know yeah whenever baseball season if there's going to be football and baseball season that's going to be coming around and they're going to be talking about you know for what does that mean um and you know yeah what the baseball bats are made out of and then also how to be able to catch. And catch and, and you know like yeah pitching and then also if it's a uh, maybe about that uh, you know interacting with other players you know something like that but but it sure seems that way that um when we think about that uh, baseball you know gymnasiums um when we think about assemblies most of the time that uh, it sure seems that way that um that yeah it's just another way in, in case of we're probably one and oh two you know is that really just another way. Of getting out of class for about half an hour just to be able to listen to uh, I'm like yeah you know even if we're talking about maybe the circus clowns or something like that but it's like yeah that when we think about gymnasiums a lot of times though that uh, you would see something like uh, uh, a basketball you know yeah you know you see a lot of volleyball and other activities uh, that uh, that's going on there in the stadium uh, in, in, in the gymnasium right but but when we talk about that an assembly, though, that uh, an assembly is another way of how to uh, state to word it um, that, yeah, that a lot of the kids and teachers and staff are able to go into this uh, big room and um, they're able to, uh, to kind of like watch and learn a, a few of the basics about, like, yeah, there's uh, going to be a, maybe a teacher or somebody there at the school that's going to maybe be retiring or something like that, or just to talk about, yeah, there's going to be a baseball team that's going to be playing a game within the certain area or something like that, and uh, so that's why it's like, yeah, that, uh, the, you know, the number of years that the, whenever you do uh, go to an assembly a lot of times, it's like, yeah, you know, whenever you participate in an assembly, that, that that's another way of how you're trying to get the, a lot of the classmates to go ahead and and uh, walk into that gymnasium and uh, listen and learn about whichever that, uh, yeah, there's going to be a team or a company or somebody that's want to go in. I'm like, yeah, you know, if it's, uh, if it's maybe a story or maybe if it's a few magic tricks or anything like that. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you know, about almost every time there's going to be an assembly, I guess uh, it sure seems that way that maybe the principal could even say too that, um, that, yeah, you know, uh, an assembly is another way uh, 
of how to teach our children about, you know, yeah, about, uh, you know, if it's just a, maybe another reason to get out of class for a few minutes or something like that, or just something that you can actually show them, some sort of activity. And most of the time, what I usually see a lot of times is the fact about whenever you do uh, go to an assembly, and let's just say if they're talking about sports a lot of times, that the, you would see that to where, that yeah, you would have a, Red bird that's going to be dancing with one of the students, or maybe pick somebody, yeah, pick somebody from the crowd to be your volunteer or something like that. So I'm sure most of us probably remember those days is that, yeah, that uh, if you were to be watching the speaker, and let's just say that speaker is going to maybe be asking one of the members in the crowd to, to stand up uh, in front of the crowd and volunteer for anything that you were trying to show them or something like that. So it, se- it, ser- it sure seems that way that, um, when we think about an assembly, though, then is that really another way of how to tell as to where the, yeah, well, really, that um, that whenever you're going to be going to those assemblies, that, that do you think that maybe one of your favorite parts about the assembly, though, uh, will be is as to where that whenever you're picked at, you know, from, yeah, from, you know, the host or maybe if it's the presenter or the speaker. So let's we'll just say that, that somebody there on stage is actually talking about something and let's just say that uh, they're going to go ahead and maybe pick uh, somebody from the audience to be able to represent you know, for, yeah, if they're, if they're supposed to be like, a, yeah, for any sorts of presentation or anything like that. So so a lot of times it's like, um, we want to know too, that do you think that that would be a dream, you know, to be picked, you know, from the, from the group of audiences? And let's just say that if you were to be, uh, you know, picked to speak up about something, or maybe if you were to be picked uh, to... Uh, to go ahead and, you know, answer a question, like, let's just say that the speaker is going to be asking you a question about, you know, why do you think that this is important, or why do you think that the team should be following up about this or that, and so that's why it sure seems that way that, uh, when we talk about assemblies, though, and, uh, so it sure seems that way that a lot of times, whenever you do, uh, participate in any sort of assembly, that uh, does that kind of mean uh, to where, that, yeah, well, really, what is all this, what we're talking about here, what does it have anything to do with me? I'm like, for what I got to do, and a lot of times, that there might be a lot of you know, kids that might often ask that question to where, that anything that they were talking about in that assembly, and let's just say that um, if it was, uh, you know, an activity uh, based on, I'm like, yeah, you know, kind of, kind of like, you know, yeah, if you're going to maybe be a, uh, making a joke about something or, you know, maybe if it's uh, going to be any sorts of speech such as to where that, yeah, well, you know, that uh, the speaker is going to maybe be telling the kids a story about something and, and one of those stories is maybe going to be about something, yeah, something goofy or something funny or something like that. But it sure seems that way that um, that when we talk about assemblies, though, that there's going to be, uh, you know, a group of uh, of audience, like, yeah, right here on the bleachers, there's going to be a lot of audiences right here. But let's just say, though, that for the most time, though, that, um, that um, if you're going to be going to one of those assemblies, though, that uh, they'll be showing you uh, how to use some of the equipment. And let's just say that maybe if it is a, a baseball or something like that, and I'll go and just draw a baseball right here. and uh, But still, that... Uh, so if you're going to be uh, participating in a lot of those uh, assemblies a lot of times, you know, even if it is softball or something like that, that um, that when we participate in those assemblies, that uh, they're going to be maybe asking, uh, you know, yeah, a lot of, the, you know, you go to those assemblies and it's like, yeah, well, really, that um, they're going to be, you know, the teachers or the principal is maybe going to be telling you that, yeah, well, if, especially if it's going on, in your town to where that uh, this team is going to be playing on the court or something like that. I'm like, yeah, I've a quarterback or something like that. So that there's supposed to be like a certain team or something like that playing. And uh, so they're going to say that, uh, that, yeah, you know, most students would be required to come to this assembly for for that reason, maybe because of the fact that maybe if there's a a coach or maybe if it's going to be a teacher or somebody who's going to be retiring or just like, yeah, just so that way you can see uh, uh, somebody perform. And uh, let's just say that, that most of the time, if it's maybe going to be a band or maybe a certain team or you know any other sorts of activity going on there at the school and um, the, the teachers are going to probably maybe tell you something like, hey, that, uh, 
you know, that you are, you know, asked to come to this assembly. So a lot of times that, uh, you know, a lot of times it sure seems that way that, you know, would teachers maybe ask a lot of their students to worry that, yeah, well, really, you know, if you were to pick between the test or the assembly, and a lot of times would, would a lot of students maybe pick to where they're going to go ahead and, and go to the assemblies. And I know a lot of these assemblies, I'm sure most of us uh, remember those days of the assemblies, right? And uh, when we're talking about the assemblies, that we're talking about uh, whenever you actually uh, walk into a big uh, gymnasium, a big room, kind of like a, like a little dance, like a sound stage or something like that. If you're actually going to a concert and uh, you actually are able to talk and and see the lot thing like yeah if it's a maybe if it's the firefighters or something like that maybe the team of uh, of experts or something like that. so so yeah those assemblies could uh, be about um you know yeah you know it could be also uh, be about you know yeah specific training or something like that so it sure seems that way that when we th when we talk about assemblies though is that just another way of how to get out of class? I'm like, you know, if you're uh, able to get out of class for at least an hour to go to these assemblies. And so it sure seems that way that, uh, you know, have we ever thought about that to where that, that, you know, really, I'm like, you know, you go to these assemblies and you want to know too that maybe nearly 80% of the time that you're not really uh, interested in, you know, playing any too much any of the sports that, or going on there to school or anything like that or if anything you know yeah you, know, you don't even know if you're a good fit or something like that but but let's just say on the other hand that um talk about with that uh, with those assemblies though that um one thing that i did want to mention too is toward if you're going to be uh going to one of those assemblies and let's just say that if you're going to be uh, one of those gentlemen or one of those madam i'm like oh yeah somebody there in the audience that somebody's going to ask you to uh to stand, to get up on stage and answer a few questions, and let's just say one of those questions is maybe going to be about is that, uh, you know, yeah, what grade are you in, or are you what's the highest score that you were able to compete whenever it comes to playing a certain sport or something like that. So a lot of times it sure seems that way that um, when we speak about, um, you know, a lot of uh, the assemblies though, that it's like yeah, you know, you want to go ahead and maybe show. Uh, the class or maybe the principal you know some of your talent and it sure seems that way that you know do assemblies a lot of times mean that to where that you're going to go ahead and and express oh my god you know the feeling and also the talent about anything that you that you're able to do and uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that when we speak about the assemblies so that, um, that that that's another way of how to get out of class for maybe for a few minutes so that we can tell uh, you know, other classmates and tell the teachers about what's uh, something that you're good at. And uh, so a lot of times it sure seems that way that, um, that uh, yeah, most of the time that whenever came, whenever it came to assemblies, I can remember back in those earlier days that whenever the Cardinals were playing, that uh, they, would, they would be talking about the basic game rules as to where that, uh, yeah, yeah, about how many strikes before you're out or something like that, but... But on the other hand, that uh, if we're talking about that um, with uh, most assemblies, that, um, that yeah, there's going to be an assembly that's going to be going on, and usually that's in the yeah, that's usually scheduled in the spring, right? So it's like you know, if there's going to be an assembly that's going to be on the, the schedule, like if you go to school one morning and let's just say that uh, between 9:55 a.m. and maybe 10, 10 45, you know, a.m., something like that, between, usually, yeah, you know, usually between 9.55, between the hours of 9.55 a.m., yeah, through, uh, I would say between, uh, yeah, between 10.35, between 9.35 and 10.35, so let, let's just say that, uh, yeah, that, uh, if it takes about maybe 10, 15 minutes just to walk into that gymnasium and all, but, but let's just say on average, though, that uh, if you're going to have an assembly that's going to be scheduled, then uh, chances are, Mike, you know, most assemblies would only last for about 45 minutes, right? You know, not even an hour. And sometimes that you might have some of those assemblies to where you walk into a gymnasium, and let's just say they're talking to you about maybe certain fitness 
you know, exercises and also the things that the team does. And uh, so that's why it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we think about an assembly, though, that, uh, yeah, you know, if it's just, uh, yeah, you know, you go to this meeting, you know, just to get out of class for 45 minutes. And like everybody else would say, too, that that may be one of the reasons why that uh, you went to that assembly was because that, you know, yeah, somebody there, like, yeah, well, somebody there who asked you to go uh, with them to uh, listen to what they had to talk about during the time of the assembly or anything else like that. So that's why it sure seems that way that, um, that when we talk about assemblies a lot of times, that uh, assemblies, you know, assemblies, are, are assemblies really supposed to teach you anything or they're just really another way of how to uh, talk about the special, you know, events and other activities that's going on, uh, maybe uh, not just in the school, but then also in the community. And I guess that that's really what it's about, right? And most, most of the time, I usually hear about sports most of the time. So if we're talking about sports, though, and let's just say if we're talking about the St. Louis Cardinals, and uh, you want to know, too, that, or that, yeah, well, really, that whenever you do uh, you know, participate in any sort of assembly, that um, go to that assembly, and it's like, yeah, well, really, that a lot of times... Going to an assembly, uh, like a lot of kids would say too, that it's, it's like going to a carnival and it's like going to a parade, ain't it? Where that they may not hand out candy to all the kids whenever you go to this assembly, but still, that, uh, that they're going to be talking about uh, a lot of things uh, going on there at the school or about how that the teams play and all that stuff. Too. So that's usually what you, what you hear. But, but one thing I did want to mention too about the assemblies, though, and say, uh, yeah, that uh, whenever you're going to be, uh, you know, if you're going to be seeing somebody picked uh, you know, in front of the audience, and let's just say that, uh, you know, you're going to be maybe talking in front of a whole group of, of audiences, and let's just say that if we're talking about maybe up to 570 people, you know, under, up to 500 kids or something like that in that gymnasium, and you want to know, too, as to where that you start talking about something, like, yeah, let's just say if it's a few magic tricks or something like that but but on your hand that it's like yeah if you're going to be uh going to this assembly and uh, let's just say that you're going to have a speaker right you're going to have a speaker and let's just say that uh, there's going to be a video that's maybe going to be playing in that gymnasium and maybe there's going to be maybe some music playing or something like that or you know they're going to be showing you some activities or something like that. that a lot of uh, you know yeah that the the trainee you know, like the trainers or something like that they're going to be showing you know the kids and all that. So it's like yeah that uh, so whenever we think about an assembly though that uh, that it's like yeah you know back whenever you were very young that it sure seems that way that um, that are you you know, do you just really just walk in there and. And that uh, you know, you take a seat on the bleachers, right? And then uh, if there's any paperwork or any forms that you really got to fill out, and between that and maybe the field trips also, like anybody say too that if you're going to be uh, going on a field trip, and most of the time that there's forms that the parents, like yeah, you know, sign for consent, you know, like uh, for anything about permissions from the parents and all. But still, that uh, but on your hand too that um, when we're talking about. Uh, for the most part, that when we're talking about the assemblies, though, that, that whenever you go to these assemblies, that I can just remember going to a, a few of them. And, um, and a lot of times it's like, yeah, you go to these assemblies and uh, you want to know, too, that, uh, that yeah, you, know, you go ahead and, and uh, participate in assembly. And it's like, yeah, do you uh, does that kind of make you feel proud whenever you're able to... Uh, Find out as to where that they're gonna be. Yeah, telling everybody. Yeah, everybody. Do you, you what? Do, what do you think it all means whenever you actually, uh, you know, yeah, whenever you actually, uh, you know, you know, whenever you pitch or maybe whenever you toss a, a ball or catch a ball or something like that. Whenever you hit a a home run or something like that. So it's like, whenever they're gonna be showing you something, and uh, whenever they show you something, and then uh, you know they're gonna ask you, what does that mean, uh, or what does that, what, what does that usually do? Uh, Whenever you come up to a certain score or something, so so yeah, a lot of times it's questions, and then uh, yeah, they're gonna maybe ask somebody in the audience to go ahead and, and demonstrate something that you're talking about, and let's just say that maybe if it's a uh, maybe a few batting skills or maybe uh you know using a glove or something like that. So yeah, that um, in case if anybody asks me, they usually uh, 
that they would be like a little mitt or something like yeah, like a little glove or something like that, a little mitt that that the, a lot of the ball players would have. And it's like yeah, that uh, whenever we're talking about certain uh, skills though, whenever it comes to batting techniques or something like that and catching a ball, and it's like yeah, that um, whenever we're talking about playing softball or any sort of ball though, it's like yeah, that. Uh, they're going to be asking, you know, do you know, do we all know right here what this is right here? And what does it do? And, uh, you know, if you can go and show everybody, uh, you know, what, what that means right there. So it's like, yeah, that, um, so usually when you're like, yeah, there's any t-shirts, especially, yeah, you know, sneakers or t-shirts or anything like that. So like anybody say too, especially at the, you know, during the assemblies that you're going to maybe see something like that to where, that they're going to tell you that, you know, yeah, well, we're actually uh, people who uh, participate in this assembly that we're actually handing out, uh, yeah, free gifts to members of the school. So let's just say that um, that they're going to be handing out maybe special hats and maybe gloves or maybe, I'm like, yeah, like everybody else would say too, that uh, whenever you participate in any event and like anybody say, yeah, there's supposed to be a special gift or any prizes or anything like that. And like a lot of teachers might even say too, that uh, usually that uh, that whenever you do participate in any of those meetings or you know like an assembly or some sort of activity like that, doing any sort of volunteer type work and uh, and a lot of times it's like yeah that um, that the first thing that you think is toward a yeah well really that uh, you know you yo know, yeah you may have a friend of yours or maybe uh, you know the scouting troop or something like that somebody like that you know whenever you go to an assembly. That uh, you what what have you really learned whenever you went to that assembly and and anything about which call you know special gifts or honors or presentations or anything like that, but on your hand too that when we speak about assemblies though, that, that does that really make you feel proud? And I know, you know, I'll even tell people everybody here too that uh, you know does that may really make you feel proud whenever you actually go to an assembly and let's just say that you're able to tell them and show them something interesting. And uh, so, I mean, that's really something to think about, really, though, that, uh, that you know, maybe not every assembly that you were able to do that, whenever you were able to uh, talk to somebody there, like you talked to them, like, yeah, somebody who's making a speech about something, you're not really able to talk to them about that, something that you've been working on, maybe over the weekend or something like that. But on your hand, too, that, um, you know, you're going to have... A speaker there who's going to have a yeah a microphone or something like that. So let's just say that uh, people might even say too that you'll go ahead and, and draw like a little microphone right here. And so I can say that yeah that there will be like a speaker right here. They would have a microphone at about right here, and uh, they're going to say that you know yeah well really that um, you know do you, do we all know what this is right here and uh, we, what what's it for? Why why do you think the team uses this? And so it sure seems that way that. Um, when we speak about the sports a lot of times, that you want to know too, that, uh, you know, what does it have to do with uh, why, um, yeah, about school or maybe the science project or maybe if it's anything related to the English studies or something like that. But like everybody else would say too, that yeah, well, just, it's another reason, I guess, of how to get out of class and just to participate in any outdoor activity, you know, any other sorts of activities and let's say, Maybe if it's the band or the concert or something like that. But on your hand, too, that, um, you know, how many of us are really are going to be dreaming about being picked, you know, just to be able to, you know, for an interview. And let's just say if it is for an interview and let's just say that, that this person, you know, like, yeah, you know, Redbird is going to be there and there's going to maybe be two other people who are going to be speaking about something and let's just say that one of those things that they're going to be speaking about is that pick a, at least at three volunteers from the audience, you know, to uh, participate in uh, demonstrating, you know, about how uh, the equipment and everything all works. And a lot of times, it's like usually that they're going to maybe pick about maybe four volunteers, something like that, just to participate. And uh, so that's why, like everybody else would say too, that um, that I guess that that's, you know, those are the kind of moments to where that you're want to know too, that, uh, that whenever you go to a lot of those assemblies, that... Um, that you're likely one out too. That if you're going to be picked, you know, just to be able to uh, show everybody, you know, yeah, yeah, this is how this works, and then knowing about how important this is, and uh, 
So let's just say one of those important things is maybe going to be advised, like, you know, yeah, sign up. And uh, that's usually that's usually what you hear, though, right? I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sign up. And uh, so let's just say if you're going to be talking to somebody there in a the gymnasium, and let's just say that um, on average, though, that even if it's on a napkin, right, some people say that, yeah, well, if you're trying to write something down, and let's just say that if you... Uh, find that maybe a sticky note or something like that, but, but yeah, talk about for sign up, well, well how, how am I going to do that, and a lot of this is, so it's like, yeah, so it's like whenever you do uh, participate in any a activities, and uh, they're going to tell you something like, yeah, sign up or something like that, but like 102, you know, how am I going to do that, and, but it sure seems that way that uh, whenever we talk about assemblies a lot of times, with most of the time with assemblies, though, that uh, whenever we think about an assembly, though, that if that's a, a, another reason of saying is to where to, yeah, well, really, a lot of those, um, you know, a lot of the teachers in the class uh, and the students there in class are able, at least able to learn something about, you know, yeah, what should be focused on. And a lot of times it seems like to me, though, that, uh, you know, you just may never know what you want to accomplish uh, whenever it comes to, uh, like, yeah, you know, for what you want to do in the, in the near future. And let's just say if it's maybe playing uh, playing a certain sport or maybe learn a certain technique and all that. So it's like most of the time, though, it sure seems that way that when we think about assembly, so that uh, do we necessarily think about is this to word of, yeah, well, it's another, it's another also, uh, it's another good way of how to uh, show everybody that, you know, yeah, you, you walk into this gymnasium, right? But a lot of times it's like, yeah, 45 minutes of going to that assembly and then also that the 102 is to where really, who's really all qualified to just to participate in any further activities or just be able to do certain things. And uh, so it's like, yeah, that, you know, you go there for 45 minutes and you do really learn something. But uh, but the way I think about it too, though, it's like a sort of talk about the source of entertainment and then that, you know, skills and education that you get, you know, from, from whenever you do participate in those assemblies. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching, everyone.